السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Uh, today our topic about unit operation 1 BC 2214 and uh, course policies I think we mentioned during our meeting in team but we'll talk about evaporation or evaporization we'll take about factors affecting evaporation evaporators film evaporator single effect and multiple effect evaporators uh, mathematical problems on evaporation. Uh, reference is uh, Gene Koblos transport process. This reference is the best reference uh, so far I found. Uh, what is the meaning of evaporation? What we mean by evaporation? Suppose that we have a dilute solution of solute, say sugar or uh, juice, <coughs> dissolve in a solvent. For example, water. We need to remove part of the solvent water to produce a concentrated solution. This can be achieved by heating the solution so as to evaporate the solvent. Uh, and uh, the, the, the evaporate, evaporation or the evaporated will be clean water. It means that we increase the concentration of the solute in the product. Like one example is sun quick. Okay. <clears throat> types of evaporators. Uh, there are many types, uh, like open kettle or pan of evaporator. Very simple techniques. And there is a uh, open kettle or pan evaporator. This is the what what we call it the advantage. Simplest form ev evaporators. Inexpensive. Uh, simple to uh, operate, very poor heat economy. In some cases, bottles and scrubbers for agitation are used. Uh, this is another type of evaporators, horizontal tube evaporator. Uh, horizontal tube evaporator, uh, advantage, relatively cheap, used for non-viscous liquids, having high heat transfer coefficient and liquid that don't uh, deposit scales, poor liquid circulation, and therefore unsuitable for viscous liquid. Uh, another type, vertical type short tube evaporator. Uh, liquid is inside the tube, steam condensed outside the tube, used for non viscous liquid having high heat transfer coefficient, and liquid that don't deposit scales. It means that rust. Okay. Another type is vertical type short tube evaporator. <coughs> All evaporators, uh, idea is you have diluted feed coming from here, and you have steam coming inside the evaporator. So evaporate part of the liquid, which is pure water, to be vapor, and concentrated product will be more concentrated with the solute. If you have uh, uh, condensed milk or uh, if you have uh, juice or if you have uh, salt, sugar, whatever. Concentration of the concentrated here in the bottom in the product will be more higher than in the diluted feed. This is also another falling film type evaporator. What is the factors affecting evaporation? Concentration in the liquid. This is one very important. Liquid feed to an evaporator is relatively dilute, so it is viscosity is low and heat transfer coefficient high. As evaporation proceeds, the solution becomes concentrated, so viscosity increase and heat transfer coefficient drops. Density and the boiling point of the solution also increase. Factors affecting evaporation: solubility. As solution is heated, concentration of the solute in the solution increase. In case the solubility limit of the solute is in solution is exceed, then crystal may form. <clears throat> this is, uh, I think, the way how they make sugar. Solubility of the solute therefore determine the maximum concentration of the solute in the product stream. In most cases, the solubility. <coughs> Sorry. 
The solubility of the solute increases with the temperature. This means when a hot concentrated solution from an evaporator is co cooled to room temperature, crystallization may occur. Uh, another factor is temperature or sensitiv tem temperature sensitivity of material, especially pharmaceutical products, fine chemicals, and food are damaged when heated at high temperature uh, for relatively short time. So special techniques are employed to reduce temperature of the liquid and time of heating during evaporation. Okay. Another factor is forming and frothing. And for frothing. Forming and frothing. Solution like organic compounds tend to form and froth during vaporization. Uh, during vaporization, the form is carried away along with vapor leaving the evaporator inter Entertainment losses occur. Another factor, pressure and temperature. The boiling point of the solution is related to the pressure of the system. The higher the operating pressure of the evaporator, the higher the temperature at boiling. Also, as the concentration of the dissolved material in solution increase by evaporation, the temperature of boiling uh, may raise. Uh, this is a phenomenon known as uh, boiling point rise, rise or elevation. To keep the temperature low in heat sensitive material, it is often necessary to operate under atmospheric pressure that is under vacuum. So when we apply vacuum, uh, the, the, the liquid boiling point will be reduced with the vacuum because we are using very low pressure. Scale deposition, some solution some solutions deposit solid materials called scale on the heating surface. This results in that the overall heat transfer coefficient U may drastically decrease, leading to shutdown of the evaporators for cleaning purposes. Because if you are keeping the scale or this uh, deposit on the surface of the evaporator, it means that you need too much energy. And that is we consider to be a uh, waste of, uh, of, of resources, of money, of energy. <clears throat> Meaning that you need to clean the evaporator or to replace or to use standby evaporator. Uh, important thing also, important factor is the materials of construction. Evaporators are made of some kind of steel. However, many solution attack ferrous metals and are contaminated by them. Copper, nickel, stainless steel can be used. Uh, main method of, of, of operation of evaporators, when a single evaporator is used, the vapor from the welling liquid is condensed and discarded. This is called single effect evaporation. It is simple but utilizes steam ineffectively. <coughs> the to evaporate one kilogram of water from the solution, we require one to 1.3 kilogram of steam, which is a big amount. So we need to use multiple effect evaporation. Increasing the evaporation per kilogram of steam by using a series of evaporators. So in this case, the vapor on the top coming, we use it as steam for the second evaporator. And the vapor coming from the second evaporator, we use it as third as steam for the third evaporator. So with this uh, method, we can save the energy. Uh, effect of pressure. Pressure in the evaporator sets the boiling point of the solution, which is T1. Steam pressure determines the steam temperature, which is called Ts. <coughs> we'll understand what is T1 and Ts. Uh, since Q or heat will be Ua Ts T1, this is, we'll study one uh, chapter in uh, transport processes about heat transfer. We will understand what is, this is UKL overall heat transfer coefficient. This is the area. This is steam temperature. This is T1 inside the evaporator or uh, in the vapor also and also in the concentrated product. It's all T1. Larger values of Ts minus T1 will help reduce the heat transfer area needed and hence the cost of evaporators. Vacuum can be maintained in the solution side using a vacuum pump. For example, if the pressure in example one is reduced to 41.4 kilopascal, boiling point of water reduced to 349.9 Kelvin. And that instead of 3 
372 so it will be reduced to 349 okay large decrease in heat transfer area would be also obtained we go to draw <clears throat> here one uh, very important uh, chart if we have a high concentration of the for example sodium chloride you have 0 5 10 20 25% and saturated means that cannot dissolve any more sodium chloride or salt so temperature if you have pure will be at 100 will be exactly 100 but if you dissolve some some liquid in the some salt in the liquid or in water for example say that for five percent so meaning that the boiling point of this uh, salt in the water or diluted salt in the water will be more than 100 so here 100 will be 100 something here as you see here so it will be 100 maybe two or three degree if you increase to 25 you see 100 will be 25 will be here meaning that around 108 or 107 something like that so when you dissolve uh, salt or sugar or any any product in the uh, pure water uh, boiling point of that saturated or diluted uh, solution needs to increase the boiling temperature okay here uh, is very important when you we are dealing with evaporation you need to draw exactly like this one all like this one you cannot draw like for example like this one by your own use this one and you say this is inlet this is outlet this is steam for example here this is vapor and this is steam liquid this is tabule for evaporator we have special draw we must draw like this and we make all parameters like feed here like vapor here uh, here steam and all for example xf this is the mass what this is f is the mass flow rate xf is mass fraction of solute in the feed we have to use same parameters in order to solve in very good way in very easy way we don't confuse we have to put all parameter as it is here most of the thing will be given uh, some data you need to extract from the steam table other you need to apply some uh, equations to find out okay so what is tf this will be tf temperature of the feed uh, xf is the mass fraction of the solute hf is intel b here steam is s this is uh, p will be the pressure of the steam this is ts temperature of the steam this is the intel b of the steam in vapor phase this is HS, the intel B of steam in liquid phase. This is TS. TS will be here the same, and PS will be the same, but intel B will be different, meaning that from this minus this, we take lambda, okay? And T1, as you see, notice here, T1 here, T1 also in the evaporator, and T1, as you see here, also in the concentrate. This we call it that term temperature. And it is very important because we need to calculate how much heat needed to evaporate this uh, feed from liquid to become vapor. This we call it the the term temperature. The term temperature. Okay. This we call it the term temperature. It's very 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 important to know because this how to apply the equation. We use here to to find out the heat we need to use mcp delta t so this t1 will be the boiling point which is here which is the same here but ts will be different okay <clears throat> for the leaving evaporator this will be how much the value of the uh, leaving uh, product here xl is the concentration xl must be higher than xf otherwise we don't make evaporation because here xf is low we take some vapor here, became XL is high, okay? And HL is the intel B of the concentrate. This is in, in liquid phase. This is in vapor phase, okay? Uh, pressure in the evaporator here. T1 is the temperature in the evaporator, okay? Hope you understand 
uh, some of this okay so you need to draw like this <clears throat> so how to calculate the calculation method will be very easy we need to make uh, something called overall material balance what we mean by overall material balance we make like this one maybe you study in elementary principles of chemical engineering so here the feed material balance we are not talking about heat steam will be here in will be the same out so we will not take in the material balance we take the feed f equal here vapor plus liquid so this is the first equation this is number one okay and we take solute material balance solute material balance meaning that feed multiplied by the concentration of the feed the solute in the feed here also uh liquid con concentrate we take l multiply by the concentration of the solute in the concentrate in l so uh, f multiplied by xf equal l multiplied by xl plus v multiplied by vy this is solute in the vapor usually this value will equal to zero because we assume it is pure water meaning that there is no solute here and then heat material balance we take also the same but we now we consider the steam will be f equal hf plus shs this is f this is in in okay this is the intel b in for the feed intel b for the steam equal l if we take this one l multiplied by hl in the liquid v this one v hv in the vapor plus s this one s hs in the liquid so notice that when we have liquid we use small h small h when we have vapor we talk with we, we put hf here also hf this only thing you need to consider so if i if i take rewriting i will find out uh f hf plus s this is steam hs minus hs if you make this one this means lambda or we call it latent heat from where we find out we find out from the steam table we call it latent heat this is from steam table so no worry from to find how to apply this equation very simple because all data most of the data will be given and then here uh, how to how to make the energy loss by the steam this will be qs lambda and this is will be uh, s h s minus capital minus h s small will be uh, uh, latent heat from steam table at the same temperature and pressure we can find out and then uh, this is from uh, uh, we call it uh, mass uh, heat transfer equations what is u it is overall heat transfer coefficient a is the area delta t is the temperature difference in temperature between uh, high and low temperature we will see how we can apply this this is the same table uh, very very if when i use saturated steam if i have one data either temperature or pressure i can find all other parameters like specific volume uh, in tal b uh, entropy we will focus only about more we will focus about intel b because it's very important for us to know data for intel b okay and unit here very important kilojoule per kilogram okay here from very small temperature 0 0.01 up to 300 degree c okay so pressure if i have 100 as you see this is this is 101 meaning that one atmosphere and if i increase temperature also uh, pressure will be increased okay so in talbi also will be increased okay how to use this we, we we can we can see how we can use in the we take an example say a continuous single effect evaporator concentrate uh, this is 9072 kilogram per hour at uh, one weight salt solution entering at 38 so this is tf to a final concentration of 1.1 uh, 1.05 weight this will be concentration of the l the liquid in the bottom okay this is concentration in the feed and be careful make this one to be uh, not percentage we make it like <clears throat> we call it ratio 
uh, we take it like uh, we divide by 100. This also we divide by 100. Okay. It says the vapor space of the evaporator is at 101. It is one, it means that one atmosphere. And the steam supplied is saturated at 150 kilopascal. This one kilo, one, 150 kilopascal, we find from here temperature in the evaporator, or I call it T1. T1 will be in the vapor inside the evaporator and in the in the liquid in the product. Here 150 for steam. Don't confuse. This will be 150. I find out the temperature uh, at 150 for steam. Why I need to find out TS? Because I need to put in the calculation sometimes TS or temperature of the steam. Here, what is the question is calculate the amount of vapor and liquid products and the heat transfer area required, assuming that since it is the dilute, the solution has the same boiling point as water. Why here we assume it is dilute, meaning that a boiling point of water will be 100, okay? <clears throat> here, when you put your data, T1, make sure that T1 here equal to T1 here is same as T1 here. But TS will be different and TF will be different, okay? This is very, very, very important. Here in the data, TF is given. Here, one, it is divided to 100 will be 0 0.01. And then here XL will be uh, 1.5 divided by 100 will be 0 0.015 kilogram solute per kilogram liquid product. And pressure here given, it says that 101. So here, how much temperature at this pressure? This will be 100. Okay, if I have PS, this is the pressure of the saturated steam will be 150, meaning that TS will be, I see from the steam table, 150 kilopascal, it will give me 114. Where is the steam table i go to previous slides i have a steam table okay so from here i can find out the vapor if i have here temperature i can get pascal pressure all okay so i need only one data all right we go to make uh, overall material balance when we take overall material balance very easy as i mentioned before f equal l plus v okay and solute material balance will be f x f plus equal lf plus here v x or y v uh, but y v equals zero because we say that no solute in the vapor so equation will be very small like this one or very easy I take heat balance also the same will be F. This is the feed multiplied by HF. This is the enthalpy of the feed. Here steam multiplied by lambda. Lambda, this is the latent heat from steam table. How to find lambda? It will be vapor minus liquid from the steam table. L, this will be the product or concentrated uh, product. HL will be the enthalpy of the product. V, this one will be the vapor. HV will be also the enthalpy of the vapor. Here I cannot make zero because here I am talking about heat balance. Here there is heat. So uh, lambda will be HS minus SH. And then Q will be S lambda equal U A delta T over all heat transfer coefficient area delta T or U A T S minus T1. So this is why from C table, if given uh, pressure, I need to find out the temperature because I cannot use pressure. I need to use the temperature. Okay. So if I solve this one with this one, I will find out because I have two uh, unknowns. I have two equations. If I solve out, I will find L and V. This will be 6048 kilogram per hour. And this will be 30424 kilogram per hour. Okay. We go to make uh, uh, the, the, the material uh, energy balance or heat balance. <clears throat> this already data I have now because I feed already calculated L calculated uh, V this given L V calculated TF given pressure and this one given because given pressure I can find out temperature from steam table and this is overall heat transfer coefficient. If I go here, FHF, I, if I apply here, what I can find, I can find uh, this is all the equation here. This is very important. In the feed, I talk about datum temperature. F heat of the feed 
in the feed will be F multiplied by CP. This is heat capacity of water. It is 4.18 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. T1 will be temperature in the evaporator or in the concentrate, sama. Same. TF will be temperature of the feed. Usually, TF must be lower than T1. Okay? So, we see how we can apply in the calculation. Uh, this equation, you know, Q equal MCB delta T. This is usually the heat needed in the for the evaporator or the for the liquid to be evaporated so how much quantity i have m cb of the water i will assume it is liquid water and delta t it is the temperature in the evaporator minus or this will call datum temperature in the evaporator minus t in the feed so i can i can find uh, this will be here will be very clear this will be uh, f this is mcp this will be delta t all right so this one f c b t1 minus t f and this here v latent heat of vaporization and from here i can calculate s multiply by lambda which is uh, 9 million uh, 152,080 62 kilojoule per hour okay from here, how to calculate the heat transfer area? From this equation, I can calculate Tada Masala, no problem at all, because I have S lambda, I already calculated. Okay. If I want to calculate steam, I can also calculate, because I have this uh, value divided by lambda. I can get the how much steam. Okay. Then I will get the area based on the, the 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 data i have here it will be 130.9 meter square uh, if you draw and put all parameters in proper way then you will not find any difficulties but if you if you put data in wrong place then all your solution will be wrong so try to be care about this Okay. Uh, some data there is, uh, uh, for example, you have uh, in steam table temperature and pressure. Sometimes you don't have uh, pressure for all temperatures. So you have in, for example, I, you have 45, pressure is 9.59 something, and at 50 you have 12.3. But the question give you at 47. For example. <clears throat> Temperature is of, of the feed is 47. So how to find out the pressure? You need to make something called interpolation, and you use this equation. Okay. If you use this one, this is very important. If you use uh, y pressure, then use all this y. So this will be uh, y1. This will be y. Y this one this will be x1 this will be x2 and this will be here x what you want to calculate and this will be y so you apply here y equal y1 or do you have all y1 this is y1 you have here x this is x you have x1 this is x1 you have y2 this will be y2 you have y1, this is y1, x2, this is x2, x1, this will be x1, and then you can cal you can you can uh, calculate. Okay. If any interpolation for any two parameters, uh, never mind what are that parameters. If you assume it is straight line, you can use this equation. Okay. Okay. Here, very easy example. Uh, if you have 250 gram of water and you want to heat this from 20 degree to 56 degree, how much heat is needed? So we apply the equation Q equal MCP uh, delta T. So here M is 250 gram. C, this is heat capacity of water, 4.18 joule degree gram. If kilojoule, kilo, kilojoule kilogram Kelvin will be 4.18 multiply by 10 to the power 3 
So it depends on the units. Be careful about the units. And T, this is degree C. If delta T, uh, you can use degree C or uh, the, uh, Kelvin also the same because it is, if you add here plus 273 and you have minus 273, you will get the same results. So M, C, P, delta T, you will find out how much. This is actually phase change of the water. It's very important. If you have liquid, you need to heat. If you have uh, solid ice, become liquid, you need to heat. And then here there is latent heat. It is called fusion or melting. Okay. And then you heat from liquid became also till became all vapor. And then there is big amount of heat will be released. This is called latent heat of evaporization. Okay. <clears throat> and then here will be all vapor. So latent heat means that huge amount release during change from phase to another. Okay. Here another, if I want to bring from steam to water, this will be condensation. If from water to solidification, uh, from water to ice will be solidification. And there is here energy need to be taken. Here also energy need to be taken. <coughs> And this, if you see here, from, from solid to liquid, I need to add energy. So this energy to be taken will be equal to needed to become back again to water, liquid water. And here water will become vapor. I need to add also energy to be in vapor form. This is how it, how it looks like, uh, solid, liquid, vapor, okay? And then I think this is okay. We go to example two, how we make example two. An evaporator is used to concentrate. This will be F. So here, if I know the parameters, I can, if I put here and draw, what I will draw, I will draw like this. I will do exactly what I told you before. Okay. And then you put your, and then you put here your steam. Okay, here will be in, will be out. Here you will have vapor. Here you will have L. Here you have V. Here you have the feet. Okay. Here you have TF. You have here XF. You have here steam coming here. You have TS. And for steam also you have HS. Here also you have steam in this side also steam. And you have here TS also sama, same. And you have also, you have, for liquid I call it HS. So HS here minus HS here will be lambda. So it meaning that I take lambda. Here will be T1 for the vapor. Here will be T1. Here also in the evaporator will be T1. I will assume here the level of uh, solution. Here also will be T1. And this I call it that tam temperature. From where I found, I will find out from steam table okay so here <clears throat> this is for uh five six three this will be here this is the f what about this one 20 percent this will be xf but i need to divide by 100 this will be 0 0.02 so here this one will be x xf here okay and then this is sodium chloride, 20% will not be 100, 100 as I show you in the previous, uh, but we will assume 100 to make it easy. Uh, entering at 60 degrees, so this will be TF will be 60, this one will be 60 degrees C. This one will be TF here. Okay, and produce 50% solid. This means that uh, this one will be XL. This will be divided by 100. This will be XL. Okay. 
And then here the pressure uh, is 170 kilopascal. This is for the same 170. And inside the evaporator is 12 kilopascal. What is the important here of this kilopascal? From here I will get T1. This one here I will get T1. And this one I will get TS. From where? Steam table. So if I draw this one and I put the right thing in the right place, then no problem at all. I can solve very easy because next slide I need to make, see how I draw. I will draw this one based on like this. And then I will go to put this steam. I will take the vapor. I will take the liquid. And I will put all data. Okay. So here the feed, how much here? How much XF? How much TF, how much XL, how much P, how much P saturated, how much also overall heat transfer coefficient. As you see here, from this equation 1 and 2, I can find out V and L. Because feed already given, and I have, this is overall uh, material balance. This is solute material balance. Then I can find out uh, the solution for V and L. Okay, T1 equal how much will be 49.4. TS will equal how much? 115.2. All right, from same table. Okay, now I after I calculate, I will go. This L will be one eight one four. You can calculate by your own, and V will be two seven two two kilogram per hour. And I will use the equation. I have here uh, in Talbi twenty solution sixty degree to one four kilogram. Okay, using the enthalpy concentration chart. Here, uh, uh, better not to use steam table. Because I will use the, the 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 concentration chart as I show you before. Because boiling point will not be exactly 100; will be uh, more than 100, a little bit. Okay. Here, intel B of 50 solution will be how much? Using the intel B, this will be uh, 49.5. This is the pressure, and we get uh, boiling point right chart will get. 89.5 okay and then here again is 49.5 and then as boiling but if we assume pure water also we can work will not be big difference you can you can assume like previous example we can also get somehow very close uh, data okay hl hv this also i can calculate because this is 505 this one 2667 so difference will be difference of these two values will be lambda this minus huh? minus will equal lambda and then i apply the equation here as lambda how much equal from here lambda i can calculate and then i can calculate the steam needed steam economy how much vaporized divided how much steam used <clears throat> vaporized it will be v i calculate before this one and steam used will be 3251 so i divide will be 0.837 this is very good value actually uh, the more higher the, the more better if you got less than 50.5 it means that there is too much energy consume or waste energy okay Based on this equation also, I can calculate the area. Hopefully you understand. Hopefully you understand. And uh, thank you very much. We can stop here for today. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.